dry weather on the horizon, then more precipitation to deal with. Yeah, you know, similar situation in terms of rain and wind to what we just got through, except uh, this one going to be coming in for the end of the weekend. Looking at our radar right now, things are quiet across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. Providence looking at dry skies. It's a cool start. 46 degrees feels like 41 under a west wind that's around nine miles per hour. Dry, quiet weather today and again on Saturday, but then all eyes on this Sunday, early Monday time frame. Potent storm system that's actually coming up from the Caribbean along with an approaching cold front could bring a round of damaging wind gusts and some heavy rainfall. So something to watch the exact intensity and the track of it will determine you know, how strong our winds end up being and where the heaviest of the rain falls. We'll show you uh, what we're thinking temperatures right now under those cool and dry conditions for your Friday morning running at 43 degrees in Smithfield 47 Smith uh, Westerly and Newport. So high pressure is building in in between storm systems cold front that uh, brought more rainfall yesterday in that area of low pressure that developed along it now moving out. And this is the cold front that will be approaching for Sunday. Again, it's going to also be enhanced by this system. National Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on it, giving it a 50% chance of developing. Not expected to have tropical characteristics by the time it reaches up, but it'll ride up near the Florida coastline, up along the Carolinas, and then track into New England. So for today, we're looking at dry skies, maybe turning the heat on, at least grabbing your jacket or fleece for the morning hours, and it's a comfortable afternoon. Exactly what you'd expect for late October, around 60. In Wickford, upper 50s to lower 60s. In Johnston and East Providence, dry, sunny, and with a west wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. New Bedford and Fall River both running at about 60 degrees. The evening looks cool and dry. Those high school football games, no issues. About 56 degrees at 6 o'clock, falling to the upper 40s by 11. Let's fast forward here to Sunday morning. Notice some showers already breaking out across parts of western New England. There'll be the chance for some showers during the day on Sunday, especially later in the day. Uh, but this storm system will bring widespread rain that'll turn heavy at times by Sunday evening and Sunday night as it rides up either to our west or potentially over our area. And with that will come a round of heavy rain, but also strong south and southeast winds. And some of our computer models still trying to generate wind gusts, potentially 50 miles per hour greater, so even higher than what we saw in spots uh, earlier this week. And so there's the potential for wind damage, but also some heavy rainfall that could lead to some localized flooding. Well, I check back in for updates over the weekend on this future cast for this Sunday, early Monday, 62 for today. Temperatures tomorrow, gorgeous, 66 degrees, sunny start. We'll see an increase in the clouds in the afternoon and evening, but remaining dry. So any Saturday night activities looking fine. Sunday, you'll need to have a backup plan. Pack up some rain gear for the Pats game. Showers developing, and we could see some winds increasing too. The potential for some gusts up to 30 miles per hour during the day, and then the stronger winds in the evening and night. Uh, could be a stormy start to Monday, but indications are this is a fast moving system. So out Monday afternoon with windy and dry conditions for Monday. And again, Tuesday looking dry and bright during the day. Temperatures falling through the 50s for trick or treating. The full future cast, always available on your mobile device.